Hello and welcome to Abundantly Minimal. My name is Sarah and thank you for joining me for another outside video here. It is a beautiful day, a little bit sunny, but I thought it was a nice chance to talk about a seasonal approach to minimalism. And I thought this was a good time to make the video now that it's a new season here. I love fall, it's one of my favorite seasons. And we can actually apply some of the same elements of the seasonal approach of life to minimalism and our spaces and how we spend our time and all of that. Now when we think about the different seasons of the year, there are certain seasonal experiences that are often associated with that time of year. And of course it does vary a bit depending on where you're at. Here in Illinois, in the United States, we have four very distinct seasons. And so each season brings different things that you can do, different temperatures, all of that. But the same approach can actually be true with our items. In life, just as new seasons come and go and they bring about different pros and cons, the same is true with our own seasons of life and the seasons in which we use our stuff. We might like to think that our items that we have are going to be useful for our entire lives or for forever. But the truth is, even some of our most beloved possessions have a season of life that they are prioritized or they are chosen. And at some point, they will no longer be relevant anymore. How long are these different seasons that we're using our stuff? It's going to vary a lot depending on the item. And oftentimes, especially when we think about when we donate it, that item can go on to have another season with someone else. And again, we don't know how long it's going to be, but it is important to have this mindset that it does end. At some point, that item is no longer going to be relevant, and then you're passing it on. I know when I think about examples of seasons in my own life, I think about the seasons that come from different jobs, different locations we've lived. This is the third residence that my husband Jake and I have shared, and there have been differences in each of our previous residents that made us need certain items and then other items became irrelevant. It has to do with different relationships or friendships that you have. It has to do with the interests or hobbies that you are practicing. All of these factors are seasonal whether we think about them that way or not. It's also important for us to think about how these seasons can evolve, how we use different items can change in different seasons of life. What was helping me think about this the other day was actually um, looking at a book from my high school days that I had purchased and really loved at the time. It, and it had tons of fun questions you could ask someone to get to know them better. And with that, it was very fun and kind of a silly thing to have with friends and, and that sort of thing growing up. And then I didn't use it for a long time. I think my sister actually then used it because she's four years younger than me. And it wasn't until recently that this came back in my life because I was creating a question of the day resource to use in my own online teaching as well as to share with other teachers. And so once again, it became relevant to me again. I still want to use it a little bit more for those resources. And after I complete this project, I will acknowledge that it is no longer something that I need and then can feel comfortable letting it go knowing that the season of that item is over. And again, this is just one very simple example, but we can apply the same sort of thinking to any of our items. And I think this can be a really healthy mindset shift for us to not assume that these items have to be kept forever, but instead to wonder how long is their season? Is this currently relevant in this season? Do I see another season of life actually using this or is it season past? And going beyond clutter, we can even think about other elements of life from this way and find comfort in letting go. I know as I've gotten older, it's been interesting to see how friendships change from the time you're in high school, college age, young adulthood, and figuring out what relationships or friendships were more so from convenience of the times or where everyone was at the times versus which ones have staying power that will truly last much longer. And so that's been an interesting thing for me to think about, as well as different interests of mine and hobbies and seeing how those also evolve over time. And it's okay to let go of what's no longer serving you or what's no longer providing as much value as it used to just because it was meaningful at one point. 
So that wraps up this quick little video here today. If you'd like to hear more about ways you can think like a minimalist, go ahead and check out my most recent video. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe to the channel right up there. See you next time. Bye.